Hello, what's up, Dr. Woods this way here, and welcome to the final Yu Gi Oh! pack opening of this month. I know not a lot of Yu Gi Oh! this month again, but please check out Funky Figures, they are amazing. And today, I finally went a game just to see if they got these things in. Finally, they got them back in stock Infinite Forbidden, the Triple Blisters. Why are you maybe thinking, why waste your money when you can actually buy three packs for Barnabas a tenner? It's because these come with special tokens that I want. And a lot of people have been saying that the um, Black Rose Dragon one is worth the most. To be honest, I like them all. But I will love the Chaz and I do love Yugi Moto. But I do like the Black Rose Dragon. But we've got four chances to see if we get something different. Hopefully there's no duplicates. If there is a duplicate, hopefully it's the Black Rose Dragon one. Without further ado, let's crack them all open right here, right now. And see what we can get. Now remember people, these blisters are very, very hard to decide whether it is good or bad. So, like I said, a lot of people say that they're weighed and all that lot, so they, Yu-Gi-Oh! just put the crappy cards in here, you don't guarantee anything, you don't even guarantee a quarter of a century. That is actually a myth, people. You do, you can potentially pull a quarter of a century in these, in these blisters. It has been, hap it has happened before. Myself and a few others from Geek Retreat. Uh, uh, one of the lads went over to game when these first got these in. And he pulled himself the QCR Dark Magician card. Which was absolutely amazing. He wasn't really um, happy because he wanted the Fiendsmiths. But <laughs> hey, don't be ungrateful. It's a great card either way. But by God people, yeah, it was a dirty, dirty cheap. A uh, quarter of a century card. It was insane when I saw it. But anyhow, nine packs, four promo tokens. We'll open up the packs in a second. Let's see what our first one is. So we got ourselves the Earthbound and the Gimmick Puppets um, Master. That is nice. Well, if it isn't, well, if I wasn't your friend in the past, then I'll be your worst nightmare in the present. That is a really cool card. I like that. Very cool, menacing character. When I leave it in this in the um, actual sealed thingy right there, yeah, we got Chaz. Chaz it up, people. We got ourselves Chaz Princeton right here with the Armor Dragon level ten. Chaz it up, baby. Awesome. So no doubles yet. Oh, we did get a double. Oh, and it was the gimmick puppet one. Doesn't matter. It's still he's quite a cool one. He's very menacing. Come on, don't give me another double. Oh, we got the um, the uh, the virus, the virus, with ba with uh, Barrel or Dragon. Once the fierce monster residing in these winds is within my grasp, you have zero chance of winning this duel. Okay, so that's not bad. I got one of the one of the um, three that I really wanted. So I got Chaz Princeton, which is good. One of them is definitely going to be up for trade to see if I can get another one of them. So either way. That, I'm happy with that. But we've got this many people. Woo! So many packs. Yummy, yummy, yummy. What am I hoping to pull? Of course, Fiendsmiths are always the ones you want to go ahead and pull. <laughs> but for me, I still got one mini ghoul card that I still need to get from my deck, which is the Arch Fiend, which is a super rare. And then anything else, the Exodia cards would be absolutely amazing. But of course, the Fiendsmiths are the way to go, people, if you want to get your money back. The wall first edition, so this is good. They're not unlimited. Let's have a look, you people. Millennium Treasures, White Forest, Puppet Play, Broomy. Oh, Snow Card Soul Exchange! That is good. Very good card. Now, a lot of people may be thinking that these new um, spell card, art type cards, and everything are terrible. They're not. In old school way, they're terrible. But if you play them in, th in this format, they're really, really good. So that is a good start. We've got ourselves the um, new Soul Exchange card, which I'm 100% certain that may get banned because the original Soul Exchange is banned. <laughs> okay, can we get out of all these packs, can we get at least about maybe one or two Ultra Rares or maybe just one Secret? That'd be nice. With a Princess, the Super Poly Target. And Lord of the Missing. Uh, Baron, which I think, yeah, this is the one that you can special summon from your hand by banishing three cards from your graveyard. One monster, one spell, and one trap. If this card is special summoned from your hand, you can banish one monster and two spells slash traps from your opponent's field or graveyard. That is 
freaking disgustingly powerful. Definitely be wanting to use that in my decks in the near future. Uh, we've got the DSP Seat Fiend, whatever it's called. But that is actually a really, really good super rare. I would recommend people playing that if they want a massive beat stick and for banishing cards. Okay, uh, Trap Gatherer. We've got ourselves the um, Tenpai cards, Doro Doro, um, Light End. And the Provost Kovos. This is the new Illus the Illusion XC card. Nice, good, very, very good card. Three in one, Ojamas. Fiend Smith. And the Fiend Barrier. And the Bat and Bay. A bat. No Ultra Rares or Secrets yet. Or QCRs. No worry. It's only been three packs. Keep your faith up, people. Keep it up. Fiend Smith Sands. Broomy. Princess. Exode! Fires of Rage! That's good! New Exodia card, I'll take it! We've got Sleepy, Strikes, the Zappa, the Shrimp. Okay, good cards there. Remember people, I have gone through a lot of these commons anyway, so I probably will be speeding through a lot of them. But, come on, let's get ourselves at least, at least an Ultra or Secret out of these random packs. Come on. Enlight, White Forest, Armor Knight. And beware the white forest. Another great archetype, people. Very, very good. I think, if I remember, the little white girl um, is around about like a 40 to 50 pound card, which I pulled randomly off camera, which was freaking annoying because I really wanted to film that. But it was at Geek Retreat when I pulled that, and um, we were all doing a pack war, and of course, I won. <laughs> Why do I always win when I'm, when I'm not recording? <laughs> Come on. Let's keep going. Dora Dora. Little Puppet Soldier. Oh, we get Ultra Rare! We got the Wolf Tamer of the Right Forest. That's a really beautiful card. That is so nice. Very beautiful. Hey, we got ourselves our Ultra Rare. That is really good. And especially the White Forest will go in a lovely crystal white sleeve. So one ultra rare people, that is really good for myself, but still, we want to get at least two or one secret. That's what we need. Treasure creation. Oh baby! Woo! We get the rabbit again! When this first came out, I was wasn't really extremely happy because it was a very cheap card. This card has actually gone up in value because it is so damn good. A lot, a lot of people like using it. Very happy with that. I'll take it. That's my second copy. I'm happy with that. Let's go. Yeah, we got a secret rare and it's the rabbit. <laughs> Let's go, baby. Let's go. <laughs> and pretty much you only need to use one in the deck. So if you wanted to use one, go ahead. Um, Fair Princess, Forest, a Gimmick Puppet, Fantasia Mac Machinix. Good for your gimmick puppets. Three and one, more fiend smith stuff. And free enough, I was speaking to one of the guys who were play who plays at Geek Retreat. Is I'm, I'm not just gonna say what he looks like, but his name's Casper the Friendly Ghost. He had the whole entire package for Fiend Smith. He played it for one week, he absolutely hated it, and then when he found out about the what's gonna be happening in the ban list, he freaked out and he sold it all. He sold it for £270. So, pretty much, he pretty much sold it for a lot more on what it was selling for now, it's another one of them lords. So, because on eBay, if you look at eBay, they were selling for about 180, 170. He got pretty much like an extra 40 pound for it, so somebody must have been absolutely desperate for it. But either way, he got money. He got proper money and everything, but I'm happy either way, because I sold my uh, Fiend Smith for 75 quid. And if I get another one, I'm going to keep it, because why the hell not? Broomy? Scream. Oh, no way! I get the other one! We got Astella, the White Forest. This is the other version. Oh my god! Two secrets and one ultra. This is awesome, baby! Oh, no way! I pull the white version off camera and I get the black version on camera. That is awesome! One of the biggest hits as well, besides the Arts Fiend card, the Fiendsmith. 
That is awesome. But you know what's weird? We've not pulled any gimmick. We've got. We've not pulled a single Mimigul card, which is weird. But that is awesome. Another starter for the White Forest. I've got both of them now. So if I wanted to, I could sell them both as a package if I wanted to. But I don't think I will. I, they actually are quite cute cards, and I might might as well keep them. Um, forwarding, Knights, Little Soldier, Salvation, Mimigul Room! I was, I was speaking about Mimigulls and I just get one! <laughs> We've got the, the Strap card. It's not the one I wanted, but doesn't really matter. Okay. Final pack of Destiny, can we end it off with another big hit? I don't think we are, because we pulled two Secrets and one Ultra. That is OMFG to the max, people. Seriously, that is insane. Number two, Dytron, Eater. And CX, C, CXYZ Gimmick Puppet. Oh, it's the upgraded version. Ooh, damn. That's nice. And then there's the other White Forest cards. <laughs> De <laughs> Depressed Prod. Aww. Cute. But hey, people, out of... I think it was 3, 6, 9. Out of tw 12 packs, people, that's like... Half of the booster box, and we get the two secrets, which you guarantee to get two secrets in a booster box, and one ultra. That is freaking banging, people. Super, super good. So, I cannot complain. So, I'll just move the comments out of the way. Here are your pulls for the day. Very, very, very good pulls, people. If I remember, I only pulled one double, which is good, and it was actually a good double as well. And then there's that ultra rare. There is our secret, and there is our main one of the day, people. Woohoohoo! Awesome, awesome, baby. If you guys enjoyed today's episode, make sure you smash the like button and subscribe if you're new to the channel. Remember, people, we're trying to get to 30,000 subscribers this year. If you guys can, I'd absolutely appreciate it. With that being said, please check out Funky Figures. The people on the goes to you guys subscribing, and I'll see you guys next time. Cheerio! Oh, freaking baby! Woohoo! I like getting these. These are nice. I don't have a clue what the values are, but I'm sure they'll pop up right now. Ah! Ah!